I'm usually reading three or four, sometimes more books at a time. I'll read a chapter or read a couple of pages in one book and then I'll switch over to another one when I get bored or uh, something comes up and I'll put it down and I'll make a mark and go look at something a, a little bit later. Uh, right now, I was uh, this morning I was working through uh, Matt Kelly's book, uh, Life is Messy. Um, big shock there. And I was reading one of his chapters and he was talking a little bit about social media and he was decrying the uh, and lamenting about the negative aspects of social media and how it leads to, leads to gossip and, and suicidal tendencies and depression, et cetera, et cetera. And as I'm reading this, I said, oh, well, this is lovely. Uh, but then he said something that I thought was rather fascinating. He, he, he says there are aspects of social media as it relates to gossip uh, that are dehumanizing. And the antidote to that is to rehumanize the whole process. And uh, he then said one of the ways to do that was to have the understanding and the wherewithal and the courage to ask for what you want. And that really struck with me because one of the aspects that I have found in working with couples who are struggling, and one of the aspects that I found rather interesting in working with couples in pre cana is how difficult they find it to ask for what they want. It instinctively sounds selfish. Uh, there's a, an instrument that I use, it's called uh, Prepare and Enrich. And, and, and one of the things that they, uh, one of the, uh, rubrics or one of the metrics that they have there is assertiveness. Assertiveness is not being forceful and being overbearing. Assertiveness is having the ability to ask for what you want. And it's interesting because along on the same page, the other thing they ask for is partner dominance. Uh, is somebody dominating the other partner so much so that they are not able to mental, mentally uh, and emotionally and psychologically ask for what they want? Uh, look, this is this is the the great commandment, all right? Loving God with all your mind, heart, body, and your soul, and loving God and loving your neighbor as yourself. You cannot name, you cannot love your neighbor, you cannot hold your neighbor in esteem, you cannot re uh, rehumanize your neighbor until you've done it for yourself. Until you said there is something lacking in my life, there is something that I need, and then go to the people that you can go to who have the ability to give what you want, and then ask them for it. Um, interesting concept. I think um, I think Matt Kelly's got something. Uh, he's onto something here. Uh, and with that, what I'm going to do is it's a, a rather cool uh, morning here. Uh, you know what I need right now? I need a good hot cup of coffee.